We have been listening to you recite the Pledge of Allegiance all semester long, and it appears that it's become monotonous for some of you. Or could it be that you don't understand the meaning of each word? If we may, we would like to recite the pledge and give you a definition for each word. I, me, an individual, a committee of one, pledge, dedicate all my worldly goods without self-pity. Allegiance, my love and my devotion. To the flag, our standard, old glory, a symbol of courage, and wherever she waves, there is respect because your loyalty has given her a dignity that shouts, freedom is everybody's job. Of the United, that means we all have come together. States, individual communities that have united into 48 great states, 48 individual communities with pride and dignity and purpose, all divided by imaginary boundaries yet united to a common cause, and that's love of country of America. And to the Republic, a Republic, a sovereign state in which power is invested into the representatives chosen by the people to govern. And the government is the people, and it's from the people to the leaders, not from the leaders to the people. For which it stands, one nation, meaning so blessed by God, indivisible, incapable of being divided. With liberty, which is freedom, the right of power for one to live his or her own life without fears, threats, or any sort of retaliation. And justice, the principles and qualities of dealing fairly with others. For all, you guys, that means our country is just as much mine as it is yours. Now let us all recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.